Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy TCG Discussions here, and uh, I'm coming at you with the very first Dragon Ball Super deck profile today. And today we're going to uh, profile Cell. <clears throat> um, I love Cell. It's actually probably my favorite deck in the game, besides uh, anything involving the starter deck Goku, um, that Soul Striker Goku. Um, but uh, Cell is incredibly powerful. Um, and I'm gonna go through my profile and talk about some of my tech choices and cards that um, are in my sideboard as well. Um, I'm not gonna really go over what the cells do, um, or every cell anyway. I'm just gonna talk over, um, like, what's main and what's key and everything. So, we got our cell here. What he does is, uh, he does what's called slurping, or basically, you can uh, place a card under him to choose a card with uh, a cost of three or less and destroy it. Awakens at four, flips over after drawing two, place a card under it, draw two cards, and then uh, remove two cards from underneath this card to just uh, destroy a warrior that your opponent controls. So, uh, pretty cool. Let's get into the profile. So, uh, we play the obligatory um, four, uh, perfect four cell. Um, you have to play this card uh, just because uh, there's a high chance that he can end up charged in your, um, <clears throat> in your life. Um, or you end up charging it with energy because it's like too early in the game to even like think about playing this card um, And you want to have maximum numbers in your deck for your combo to go off. Uh, he's great drops your hand down to 3 30k double strike um, easy to evolve into um, Next we got four of what a lot of people call the brick uh, But I think you actually have to play this for multiple reasons if you're um, if your perfect cell gets uh, you know, stuck in your life somehow, and you don't have enough evolution pieces, you can evolve this guy into this guy. Um, so, like, that's pretty good. And so, like, you're going to get the draw, you're going to get the pop. Um, he's also double strike, so that's pretty good. And then we got three of the uh, basic cell. Um, you have to play three of it for a three drop 15k. He's not bad, but the absorption is what you're going for. So, uh, yep, pretty self-explanatory there. Um, we play three Android 17 Twin Brother. Um, I like this guy a lot. Uh, he's uh, easily searchable with Android 20, or you can like hard draw him through all the draw effects of Cell. Um, and I would play the promo of this guy. I think the promo is a better than this one, but like the promo is pretty expensive, and I can't afford that yet. Um, but I do really, really like him a lot, um, and uh, I think you have to play four of that. And then for Sister, um, Android 18, uh, it's, you don't play any of the bigger of her, um, just because, or the bigger one of the 17 either, just because they're not very good. Um, and I, I, I get a lot of utility out of these guys, either for combo fodder, energy charge, or vice versa. Um, and then, uh, uh, four, to round up the Androids, we play four terrible Android creator, Torney, um, I said that totally backwards. Terrible creator, Android 20. Uh, <laughs> you uh, play this guy because he searches 17, 18. And you don't play him to search out 16, and I don't play 19 either. So there was just basically no point um, in uh, searching out anything else other than these. And I didn't like searching out 16, so I cut 16 from the main build, and I'll show you what I'm playing instead. So uh, that's it for the uh, support androids. Um Next to uh, go on, uh, this is what replaced my Android um, 16, uh, Furthering Destruction Champa. Um, this card right here is disgusting. Uh, gives whatever's attacking double strike and 10k when you combo with it. That's purely all you use it for. And Cell has a lot of problems once he gets people down to about 2 or 3 life if they can kind of grind you out. Um, so Champa can just come in and steal a win, um, and yeah, I, I really like this card a lot in here, at least a two. Um, and then we play for some more green cards, we play the three 10k drop, uh, self-explanatory, it's 10k drop for uh, free and a draw. And then the busted card of the deck, Tien. Um, some people play this at three. I think it's a mandatory play of at four, just because um, you want to see this as often as possible. It's also removal, and he's free like striking because you're never going to combo with this card after you combo with it the first time. And so I think that Tien's pretty uh, pretty obligatory at four. 
Um, yeah, I and I think I think that's just necessary, and I really like it at four. Um, another card that people kind of debate at playing um, at four or not, I play four cells birth. Um, the reason why I play four cell birth is um, even if I draw a lot of these, I can either charge it into energy, um, which actually kind of comes in handy because even if you um, you know have cards that you want to charge in energy. Um, there's like this, if I drew multiples of it, it would be like the number one card to charge an energy. And basically all the other cards you kind of either want to use for combo fodder, um, to combo with into your absorb or, uh, just as like mid to late game pieces to help out with your game state. So I found this to be, um, incredibly good. And, uh, I think that pretty much rounds it up for the green. Uh, we're going to move on to the blue package of the uh, the main deck. We play four Sensu Beam. Uh, this card's really good, uh, mainly because you can get stuck with a lot of 10k drops in your hand, um, as well as uh, it's really good for refunding your energy and protecting your leader. Um, believe it or not, Cell has a problem with not being able to put a lot of damage on board quickly since like his main combo revolves around taking from the hand and basically saying hopefully you can't handle this 30k double strike because your hand's so low um the problem is is that the 30k double strike plus like them awakening most people will wait to awaken on their turn and then like spend all their cards against cell so that they don't have to deal with um you know you taking the maximum number of cards as possible basically um, gives them more combo fodder against you. And because the one cell on board can be easily gotten rid of with like Beerus or some other like, you know, mirror match or like several other cards that can just easily take him out, um, that just basically leaves your leader. And so a lot of the times your leader can get put under assault by aggro decks pretty quickly. And Senzu being kind of like levels that playing field. Um, to round up the blue package, uh, we play four Ultimate Jacos. This card is just, I, I, at first I thought like, you know, I don't like this card. I cut it. I thought it was pretty terrible. Now that I've gotten better into the game, I understand why this card is a necessity. In fact, this is another reason why Android um, 16 got cut. Because basically, Jaco, what he does is when you combo with him, if your opponent's attacking you, and this is a defensive card more than anything, and it's free charge fodder, um, basically when uh, they're attacking you and they go to shotgun you with uh, Chompa, the uh, card I showed you earlier, uh, you basically you uh, return that and protect Cell. So like th that's the main reason that I bumped this card for, and it has saved me so many games. I, I just absolutely love Jayco at 4. Um, and then the last... Uh, four cards are the best negate in the game. Um, the reason why it's the best and you don't play the green one is because one, this one refunds the mana, which means if I have multiples of these in hand, they're all live. And secondly, the, uh, the, the crucial part of this is just because it doesn't uh, like take that mana away from me. So like if I have, um, if I use all my coercions, I can then combo with maybe a potential 10k later. So, uh, Whisk Coercion, just definitely the best. Um, I do have a sideboard. Um, we side two more of this, uh, just because, like, if we're kind of, like, if you know that the deck's weak to, to this card, you might side more of it in. That's kind of my thinking mentality behind it. Um, we play one Energy Awakening, uh, and Enraged Enra Gohan Awakening. I can't pronounce names correctly. Um, I swear I don't have dyslexia. Um... I kind of just cited this in just because I wanted a green card to cite in. No particular reason. <laughs> I know that's pretty bad. This next card, though, definitely is. Uh, I cite this in against the mirror. Um, it just takes care of cells. Yeah, self-explanatory. Oops, bump the camera. Sorry about that. Um, and then we got uh, full power uh, energy. Um, if I decide to take out the blue package, um, I may I may need negate still, and so uh, if I'm siding in a lot to kind of handle the cell, I might use this card. Also, this thing is kind of good against like Goku ramp decks that kind of like uh, want to need their Gokus alive so that they can uh, like evolve them later. So this card kind of like takes care of that. Um, I kind of like it, and then. Last but certainly not least, um, 
if I am siding out majority of the blue package, this card is definitely going in. I know that I don't main deck it, but Android 16 is super strong, and I do really like him a lot. Uh, if you don't know what he does, he's a blocker uh, that has revenge. So when you block with him, he KOs the card at the end, and if you protect him and he lives, he'll stand himself so he can block again. I really, really, really like this card. So, um, yeah, that that that's pretty much why he's in the sideboard in case I sat out the blue package and I want to play forwards of him. Um, that pretty much rounds it up for the cell deck profile. Um, thanks for watching my very first video um, of this uh, channel, TCG Discussions. And uh, yeah, I will be making more content shortly. Uh, this is Marcus Brother, TCG Discussions, signing off.